Hello and welcome to Graduate Monkey. In this video, we'll give you an overview of a diagrammatical reasoning test in Saville style and we'll take you through the solution to this problem. Now, here's the problem. If you already are familiar with Saville style diagrammatical reasoning tests, they look in the following format. You've got a set of operators and what kind of effects they cause. It's shown here at the top. And at the bottom uh, of here, you've, you see illustrations of how they work. For example, you've got a set of inputs, usually shapes, groups of shapes, and then the process applies, and you've got an output. So for example, the, the M operator duplicates all unshaded circles. You see here, there was one unshaded small circle. It, there are two of them now here in the output. It doesn't touch shaded circles doesn't touch any other shapes. Now the Q operator deletes all small squares. So for example here you've got two small squares. One is shade, uh, one is unshaded, the other is shaded. And there's a big square and there's a circle. So Q removes these small squares, both unshaded and shaded. Doesn't touch big square, doesn't touch any other shapes. Now T is a little bit um, laborious so you need to go and look at these two illustrations to understand what it does for example notice that here you had two circles one was shaded the other was unshaded both are small circles and in the output you see that circles disappeared instead you've got duplicates of each of these here triangles so Basically, then we can assume that it duplicates small triangles and removes small circles, right? But then we need to see the next illustration to see if we need to expand on that assumption or conclusion. So here, notice that there was a big and sm big and small triangle, and notice that the both of them were duplicated. Okay, so it's not just about small triangles shaded and, uh, and unshaded; it's about all triangles. So T basically duplicates any kind of triangle and notice that there was a circle here it disappeared so they not only remove small shaded and unshaded circles they remove all types of circles so T operator duplicates all types of triangles and they it removes all types of circles now we are equipped with this knowledge we can actually try and solve this problem here on the right side you see the problem and the answer choices note that technically there are infinite number of solutions to this problem unless you have limited answer choices. Here we have only four answer choices. So as long as we find the one that matches or fits this, where you have a question mark, then you have found the solution. Now let me show you on the whiteboard. Now here's the same problem but on the whiteboard. So I'll show you how to solve, how to approach this and how to solve it. Now notice that you've got an input uh, group of shapes here, which we don't know, it's unknown, that's why you have a question mark. And then you've got two operators that are applied to this input, and you've got the output given. What you need to find and what you need to solve for is the input. So what kind of input was here, so you've got this kind of output after M and T operators were applied. Now remember the M operator was something that duplicates all unshaded circles, right? Uh, large and small. Now T operator duplicates all types of triangles and it removes all types of circles. Okay, so we go one by one and see if you know any of them fit this box. Okay, so let me start with A. So assume that A is the answer choice. So if A was the answer choice then you should have basically ended up with the following after M and T operators were applied. So you've got circle, circle, shaded triangle, and unshaded triangle, right? Once M operator is applied, you should have, you know, duplicates of unshaded circles, right? So you would have one, two, three, four circles, and you would have basically shaded small triangle and small unshaded basically triangle they would be left untouched but then after you apply T it would remove all circles 
and then it would remove it would duplicate all triangles right so oops this is circle right so four circles triangle triangle and when you apply t you would have zero okay all of them would be gone and you would have two small shaded triangles and two small unshaded triangles right so notice that you would have exactly this okay so a is the answer choice now before we conclude let me just go one by one through b c and d just to show you you know what you would end up with if you actually chose them for example if you had small unshaded triangle and two small shaded triangles and a circle after you apply m what you would end up with remember that it duplicates all unshaded circles right you would have basically small triangle small two small shaded triangles and then you would have two small circles right and then when you apply t what would happen remember that you have two shaded triangles in addition to the unshaded one so when you apply t what you would end up with is one two unshaded and then you would have one two three and four shaded triangles right so this doesn't really fit this right it's just too many triangles here so you know you could go through c and uh, i'm just gonna take the shortcut so if you apply t what would happen to this after you apply t to this what would happen is all circles would be gone and you would have one two three and four shaded triangles right so just note that you know this doesn't fit the bill because you have four shaded triangles instead of only two and for d if you applied uh, T okay so you would have you know all circles would be gone you would have one two three four unshaded small triangles okay so they don't they don't fit the bill they don't fit the bill only this one fits the bill so therefore the correct answer is a and that's it visit graduatemonkey.com to learn more